Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson tweeting, Dallas needs an expansion team. Blasphemy! And this is coming from me, of all people. You. What's the hey, other thing they call? America's team, we oh, know they okay, don't deserve that. We know they all don't right. deserve that. America is not about mediocrity. You know you have concerns about the war. I didn't say you I don't, do. but you better stop acting like you don't have them too. That's what I'm saying. Look at Purple pur pur Rain. Purple Rain. Calm down. You ain't got to look at this like that. You ain't got to look at this like that, okay? I mean, be nice. I mean, be, be nice, okay? Vintage Harden, finally. Is your boy back? I'm not going to go so far as to say he's back. Let me see you do it in game five at Miami. Stephen A., this is a, this is a big moment for you. I have accused you at times of being a prisoner of the moment. <laughs> and to see this growth from you, I'm just very, <laughs> I'm very appreciative of it. We got too much softness on the Philadelphia 76 from time to time. Some of them have been contaminated by Mr. Ben Simmons, don't want to play. Is it but Ben's he, fault? No, is no, Ben right, though? No, no. No! No! What kind of question is that? I knew it was going to get you riled up is why I'm doing it. Because I love seeing your blood, blood pressure go up. I don't even know Ben Simmons, but I love seeing you get angry. And you look so at me, damn it. You look at me. You're, you're, looking, you're damn right I'm defensive you're right the only Absolutely, here. Tigress. Yes, I am. The bottom line is this, okay? When you look at it, all right? When you look at it. I can't get over the tiger. <laughs> In the roar. We had a shirt like that. That's what he grabbed. That's what he oh grabbed. <laughs> don't let him get to you, Miley. No, what you I gonna don't. do with him? I don't. What you gonna do with him? Some of those looks are gonna get retired, but not the tiger shirt. I still like the tiger shirt. Tiger shirt's nice. Yeah. This is nice. It's nice. <laughs> I mean, are you purple, are you going to be okay the purple, in Miami? The purple, the yes. purple, I don't know. The purple's I don't know. a little boxy. I'm not into the purple. No, I'm, I'm always okay in Miami. No, I'm saying, are you ready? Because when, when you had your roar and the whole thing, I just want to make sure you're ready. Come on, stop. Oh, my God. Está. I can't. Yeah. I can't. Oh. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Miami, I'm glad Stephen A's working on his Spanish. That's good. He's right. I don't even know what, what that was. Just, just please stop. Okay. That's Puerto Rico. All right. The Heat are headed to the East. Okay. Just settle down. I was in Puerto Rico when I said that. Oh, my God. Can I do this? Can I do work? The conference finals for the second time in three years after closing out the Sixers 99-90 in game six. Jimmy Butler uh, paced the Heat with 32 points, while Joel Embiid had 20 and 12 for the Sixers. James Harden had just 11 points in 43 minutes as Philly is heading home again after the defeat. Doc Rivers' job security was a topic of discussion. Have you thought about job security? I don't worry about my job, Howard. I think I do a, a terrific job, and if you don't, then you should write it because I worked my butt off to get this team here. When I first got here, no one picked us to be anywhere. Uh, and again this year, the same thing. So if that's how anyone feels, write it, and I, I'm going to feel secure about it. Well, the results face business. And that's it why is, I but you don't do it every year. Uh, every time you're wrong, should you lose your job? No. So uh, it's the same thing, all right? But it, listen, if you believe that, then go with it. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, Kendrick Perkins tweeting this. I hope Doc does get fired. I edited it a little bit so I could say it right. Uh, he needs to be in LA at the Lakers. At least he knows the point forward LeBron James is going to be in shape and actually compete. Get him away from Harden. Please carry the hell on. Mm -hmm. Is Doc better off coaching the Sixers or the Lakers? Lakers. I can't deny that. Um... <laughs> Because LeBron is more trustworthy than almost any player in the NBA. In the history of the NBA, he's one of the top five most trustworthy players. And I'm just being, listen, I get on LeBron James about, you know, a, a, a free throw or a jump shot or a decision on the court or, you know, <laughs> stepping upstairs and, and pushing the organization to embrace someone. Mm -hmm. You were in the bubble saying he with us when you were against him. You know what I'm saying? So you didn't feel that great about Russell Westbrook when you went against him in a bubble when he was on Houston. So why would you push the Lakers organization to bring him? That's what I get on LeBron James about. But there is no question. This is one of the greatest players ever. And more importantly, one of the greatest professionals ever. LeBron doesn't cheat the game of basketball. Now, indirectly, he may have affected it negatively because when you see everybody trying to assemble a big three, even though he wasn't the first, Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, KG, and all of that stuff, the bottom line is people followed that. 
but they didn't follow the level of professionalism that he puts forth in the level of commitment. They imitated, they tried to imitate what he did, but they didn't bring the professionalism with them. So we have to understand that. But there's no question that if you're a Doc Rivers, you would be better off there. And here's the reason why. First of all, let me get some news out of the way. I've been told within the last 20 minutes uh, that they have in a team meeting within an hour or so. And then after that, Daryl Morey and Doc Rivers are going to meet privately. I'm also being told that Doc Rivers will survive, that he'll last in Philadelphia. What you saw in Philly, let me take some umbrage with what I have, what Doc said. I don't agree with Doc Rivers that he did a great job. I think he did a damn good job. I don't believe he did a great job because I think when you do great jobs, you 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 know you, you take something, you take nothing to something, or you win the chip. Those are the two things that I qualify as greatness. That's not the case here. But he did do a damn good job. And let me caution everybody that's watching Doc Rivers speak to those reporters now. That Doc Rivers is a guy that has been going through it the last few months because he's heard all these D'Antoni rumors. And Doc Rivers has been around. He's been a coach in the NBA for 23 years. He knows what handwriting is on the wall, meaning that you got people out there bringing up Dan Tony or questioning this or that about Doc Rivers in the months leading up to these playoffs because the stage was being set for mm-hmm. him to be railroaded. So Doc Rivers smelled the rat. And obviously – People use the media to do that. The media ain't making up the stories, but the media has their own different sources. And so those sources make sure that information is leaked out. And as a result, Doc Rivers has to be subjected to that constant inquiry that takes place because the coach talks to the media after every practice and they talk to the media after every game. And so in before games, so you have to deal with that and that kind of stuff I mean, who knows what kind of blisters or whatever it is is on his damn tongue from him biting his damn tongue all of these months because of what he's had to hold in. So that statement that you saw Doc Rivers get and how he came at the media, it's really, really him saying, I know what the hell people have been trying to do to me over these last few months. I would tell him it ain't the media. It's people leaking stuff to the media because they were trying to railroad Doc Rivers. But Mm -hmm. Harden was so flagrantly bad. People in Philadelphia ain't thinking about Doc Rivers this morning. They thinking about the fact that you got a dude that's eligible to get a $200 million extension that showed up in the second half last night and took two shots. That's what they thinking about rather than Doc Rivers. Floor is yours. You, you know it's hard for me to talk about a situation like this because I won a championship with Doc Rivers. He's mm-hmm. like a father figure to me as a mentor in the basketball world and in life. But I have a problem with when I when I when I think about Doc Rivers and the situations that he's been in since he's left the Boston Celtics. Trust and loyalty. Think about this for a second. He was with the Clippers. He hired Lawrence Frank. Lawrence Frank backstabbed him to get up in the front office job, whatever the case may be, all of a sudden got that role. And then all of a sudden he let Kawhi Leonard and Paul George do whatever the hell they wanted to do. And then right after that, when Paul George had his mental health issues down in the bubble and Doc Rivers was there for him every step of the way, guess what? He went behind his back and he got Doc Rivers fired. Okay, and then all of a sudden, you look at when he he come to Philly, right? You look at when he come to Philly, and I'm looking at this situation in particular, and I'm saying to myself, I'm saying, well, damn, Daryl Moore and Doc Rivers have a little history, you know, from – being in Boston, Darren Moore was there when we was there, you know, when he was first getting, when he was first starting off under Danny Ainge. And now all of a sudden, it's trust and loyalty again. So if I'm Doc Rivers, I'm getting the hell out. I'm getting the hell out. I don't even want this job. The fact that they're having a team meeting, really about whether or not they should keep Doc Rivers. I didn't say that's what the team no, meeting no, was no, about. No, 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 but, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I don't okay. know, I'm saying, right. I'm just, I'm speculating. Okay, got gotcha. you. Okay, because usually when it happens like that, first of all, the only person that they really should be talking to is Joel and B, whether or not if they want to keep Doc Rivers. But when I look at this situation in particular, you don't want to go into a season knowing that James Harden don't want you there and knowing that him and Daryl Moore are tied together like shoelaces, why would he want to be in that position? He couldn't be comfortable. He right. can't be comfortable. He can't be the best version of himself. I would like Doc Rivers to go somewhere 
like the Lakers, where he could be the best version of, of, of himself. Now, look, the Lakers organizations ain't just peaches and cream now. I get all that. But they respect Doc Rivers. Yes. LeBron James is going to respect Doc Rivers. Anthony Davis is going to respect Doc Rivers. So when I come to it, when I look at it, Doc Rivers has been one of the most loyal, trustworthy guys around, and he keeps getting backstabbed. Right. Well, let me say this to you. Number one, Doc Rivers is going to coach. You ain't going to tell Doc Rivers he can't bench somebody, he got to play somebody. He, 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 don't hire him because ain't, you ain't doing that to Doc Rivers. Mm -hmm. That's number one. So, again, you know, I don't think the Lakers would do that. They swear that's not what they would do. I'll take them at their word. That's number one. Number two, in the interest of fairness, because I'm not questioning anything that you said, but in the interest of fairness, Lawrence Frank has repeatedly denied such accusations about himself when he was <laughs> in the Clippers. Paul George has, has denied that he took that position uh, uh, against Doc Rivers when, when, when Doc Rivers will ultimately let go. My biggest issue is that the quiet assassin himself, the Mr. Kawhi Leonard, said nothing. You know, that was my thing, because we all know he was the face of that franchise, okay? When they lost in the bubble, he said nothing. So that was a big, big deal. And he wanted a point guard. He wanted a natural point guard, but he didn't say anything in support of Doc Rivers. That's number two. Number three, let me come to Daryl Morey's defense in this respect. I blame the Sixers organization, the ownership, more than Daryl Morey. Wow. Daryl Morey doesn't owe Doc Rivers loyalty. Daryl Morey didn't hire him. He was there when they brought in Daryl Morey. So the fact of the matter is, last time I checked, Elton Brand was highly respected. Got to wrap it he up was here. doing a good job. He would have did a good job. He had a relationship with Ben Simmons. You should have left Elton Brand there and not bring in Daryl Morey at all. But since you did, Daryl Morey didn't hire Doc Rivers. So what loyalty should he have to Doc Rivers? That's my issue. Mm. All right. Well, guys.